we are ready for a great question and answer session here at Monster Bash. We are always so, so happy to have this woman here. Scott Gettle is going to be your moderator. And right now, Martine Beswick at Monster Bash. Back here at Monster Bash 2019 at House of the Gorgon, which, but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, we're going to just open it up Cheers. because her list, her resume is way beyond impressive and wonderful. So how about some questions for Martine Beswick, okay? This gentleman here. All right. Uh, Martine, uh, how did you, what inspired you to become an actress and how did you get your start? Um, well, first of all, I think it was a destiny because I kept saying that I was going to be an actress at four years old and I had no idea. I'd never seen a television, I'd never seen a film. I had no idea. I don't know where it came from. Um, and from when I was a little girl, that was what I wanted to do. And eventually, I did. Well, I started doing modeling. And then, um, then it just sort of went from there. So that's how it all began. Um, Eileen, I saw you raise your hand. Did you? Yes. Martine, this has to do with one of my favorite things that you've done. Mm -hmm. And that is a short that you did with John Kennedy. In which, yes, <coughs> in which you're sitting on a bench and he is dancing around you, singing to you adorably. Was that, did he, how, how did that go down? Did he tell you exactly how that was going to happen? Okay, well, first of all, that is when we met. Okay, and to begin with, I mean, I have to say that, I mean, you know, I can get, you know, if I'm tired and somebody says, oh, could you just, and I just, oh, you know, and I moan. <laughs> and then Tammy said, no, but he's so lovely, I think you should definitely meet him because I think you're going to really like him. And I go, all right. <laughs> Well, that was the end of me, because ah. we met and we were instant friends. And then he showed me, he had the whole storyboard, a whole storyboard of what you wanted to do. And I looked at him and thought, good Lord, really? I was quite impressed. And so he did this and then he made, and it was so funny, he made me laugh. We were, it was sealed, our fate was sealed at that very time. Thank you, Martin. Where? And that he was planning it, it was the next, wasn't it? It was the what? Was it that next convention, the Atlantic? Yeah, I think so. I can't, I, I don't, I, it's kind of just everything sort of flows into one yeah. another. Yeah, that, that's the one in Baltimore, right? Yeah, the middle right. of the middle. Yes, 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 yes. And yes. he told me he was going to be doing that, and, and but he didn't say exactly what he, what he was going to do. And then afterwards, when we saw it, I couldn't stop laughing. I know. <laughs> when he was doing that for me. <laughs> Look, and he was, he was shaking this thing that looked like, you know, toilet brushes. <laughs> 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 Together after all of these years that we kind of like up 
obviously sort of passed in the night, really. Um, and immediately we started. In fact, we quit it because both of us had, uh, well, she'd been working, but I had literally come out of retirement for this. And I'd been in retirement for like 25 years. And so when we did it, I mean, first of all, I think, oh God, I'm gonna be, I don't know if I can do this. Oh, wow. However, because Caroline was doing it and everybody else, we got down. And we, and when we did it, we just, we got all sort of like, ooh, that was cool. <laughs> we were terribly excited, terribly excited. So, and actually working with my darling sister, I mean, what, really? Well, first of all, it actually we rehearsed for three three weeks, um, and then uh, when the, we were supposed to go to Turkey which I was very excited about because, you know, one of the things, actually one of the things that would happen at that point uh, in the 60s when you were an actress, I mean, one of the things, the first things you asked was, where, where was the film going? <laughs> <laughs> what country are we going to? <laughs> Not what the script is about and what it's going to do for your career. Where are we going? <laughs> And so one of the things I love was the fact that we were going to Turkey. And, oh, how exciting. Well, it didn't quite turn out. All, and we were all ready to go, and suddenly, no. And we did it on the back lot of Pinewood. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> However, it was really, it was, they did a really, it, the whole production was fantastic. And it did have a really good feel to it. I mean, really good. I mean, and uh, because it was a night shoot, and because we had this rehearsal, we had the three weeks of rehearsal. It was they wanted to do. Terence Young wanted to do handheld cameras, so we could kind of really go in and move in. And so it was kind of an exciting fight. It was a really exciting. And I have to say, I mean, it was probably sort of at that time. Pretty amazing, these two women just going at it like that, you know? Um, she was not my favorite, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to go into it. <laughs> she just was my favorite. <laughs> okay. yeah. uh, being in this um, new movie, did it rekindle any acting bug in you? Yeah, acting bug to, bug to keep working with my husband. <laughs> I, I don't really, you know, the thing about it is that I don't really want to come. I, I, be, I was in retirement, and I came out for him, and really I had such a good time, and it was, he's just such a love. I don't want to go and mess with anybody else. I mean, this is, I want to be familiar. I want to be in my family. So, um, if you can't call that the bug acting again, it's really about the fun I had. <laughs> More questions uh, in the back. Hi. Hi. Uh, when did you film One Million Years in the Sea? Any recollections of Ray Harry Hodges? Oh, oh. Um, we did that in Lanzarote in the Canary Islands. And um, I, I don't remember when it was, in fact, it's interesting because next year is going to be, the, they're doing a hundred, hundred year call it centenary or something very special and they've got a whole there's a whole um, exhibition of all his work that's going to be happening in Scotland so it's a big year for Ray Harryhausen anyway so basically I had to remember uh, his daughter asked me to sort of make you know write something about my memories of him and the thing that I remember most of all was when we first the first um, scene that we had to do. And there we were, you know, there's Raquel and there's all of us and we're in this like beautiful volcanic lake and we've all been, you know, swimming or supposed to be swimming in these bits of leather that are now hanging off us and really, you know, wet and soaked and 
not attractive. And then we have to fight this pterodactyl. And raise on a flatbed truck with a special stick to give us the eye line so that he can fill in and make these creatures, right? So he's got this stick, and we're all going around going, <laughs> there's nothing there. And so every now and again, we kind of, we suddenly turn and see all these, these us twits, really, in our little wet, soaked pieces of leather going, <laughs> and they start laughing. And they, <laughs> I mean, we'd have to, they'd have to stop. And then the director would say, now, the guys, I mean, please, he said, this is, we have to get on with this. And we go, oh, sorry. And we go on again. And suddenly we get this whole sort of giggle and we couldn't stop. So this is what, but it did what, finally, of course, we stopped laughing. But it was, I got to see him working a little bit after that. Wow. I just wanted to sit at his feet and I want him to tell me stories. I wanted to, I, I just wanted, he was, a lovely guy, lovely guy. And the whole experience of that is really fantastic. So, yeah. Okay, the gentleman in the white hat, yes, back here. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, how was it working for the wedding coordinator on the South Pier Jack Wilson's Um Well, we got on very well at first, and then there was a, uh, there, there was a, a little problem because he decided. I think he was being pushed, actually. And there's a problem decided that he was going to be, he needed a full, he needed full nudity. And it wasn't in the script. And I said, no, 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 don't be silly. Um, and he was kind of, he got a bit sort of, you know, nose out of joint. And the two of us were sort of a bit at logging it, because I said, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. But then after a while, I thought, this is so silly. This is so silly. So then we got on, and we had, we actually really had a really good time, especially because I was having a great time with, with um, Ralph Bates. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so it was just that we had, we did have a little glitch, but not for long. Okay. <laughs> he was a brilliant director. He did he, some work here in the fifties with three D. Yeah. Ah, love that, yes. Very cool. Thank you. Okay. More, more questions? Uh, yes, right here. Martina, I have an interesting uh, question for you. Something that a lot of people don't bring up. You work for a young director named Oliver Stone. <laughs> you did a film called Seizure, I believe, mm -hmm. which I believe uh, Jonathan Frizz, who's famous for playing Barnabas Stone, yep. in Dark Tales. How was it to work for director Oliver Stone at such a young age before he became a big name and to work with Jonathan Frizz? Okay, well first of all, um, I, was in, I was living in Rome at the time, and I didn't know, in fact my agent called and said, well, where are you, because somebody's looking for you. And Oliver had seen Dr. Jekyll and Sister Hyde, and insisted that he wanted me for his film. So anyway, after a long sort of like to do, to do, back and forth, I sort of flew in uh, to LA, and then I was gonna fly up to Canada to meet him. And when I read the script, I thought, first of all, it was really, it was, it was kind of dark, and it brought up some sort of weird things. There were some weird things happening, some really strange things. I mean, I, I can't even go into it because there were so many little things that were happening. I thought, oh, I don't know about this, but anyway, we ended up together, and I definitely felt that he, there was a definite genius. I had a sense that this was a, a genius coming. And the cast was amazing, amazing. And the whole idea of it, and of course the thing is, unfortunately, it was originally called Queen of Evil. Now, I wasn't happy about the change, but I couldn't do anything about it. The Queen of Evil, moi. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of seizure, which was Jonathan, because I killed Jonathan Fred and gave him a heart attack. I wish we kept the title. However, working with, he was, he's very intense, Oliver Stone, very intense, but he, he created a, an intensity and, and a sort of a magic and 
haunted. The house was like haunted as well. So there was a, it was a, oh, and we shot, we lived in this house and all the rooms were the sets. So you wake up literally with cameras and bits and stuff and lights and everything in your room and you had to kind of like walk around it, particularly Jonathan Frid. <laughs> And he had the main room, and the main room was used a lot. So there was a lot of equipment in there. So he'd wake up and say, I didn't, I, I didn't sign on for this. You know, and, he, and he'd grump, and we'd laugh and tease him. Oh, but it was, were, it, was, it was an amazing, interesting uh, shoot. It was incredible, incredible, absolutely. Hey. What movie were you doing that you were glad it was over last night? I don't know. You know, that's an interesting question, because I'm trying to think which movie. Well, I suppose really there was a little movie that I did with Jesper. I did a couple with him. And the, I think the last one was called Night of the Scarecrow. I was a victim. I've never been, been a victim before. I had my face all sewn up. I mean, I was not happy about that. So I think that's probably not the kind of film that I wanted to be in. So I suppose that's the one. Night of the Scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was your reaction when you were asked to be in the second Bond film? How did that come about, and how was it working with Sean Connery? Okay, well, the re first of all, the producers absolutely said, you are not, I do not, they did not want Bond girls to come in twice. Right. I mean, it was, that was it. But Terence Young, who um, had met me, and in fact cast me, in fact, before I even did Russia With Love, he said, go get some, because I'd gone up for Dr. No, and he said, go get some experience. He said, uh, you're too young. I've got something for you. And I went, oh, okay. Um, and it's interesting because, I mean, at that point, I trusted that, and I didn't have to because, I mean, who, you know, director says, oh, I'm going to use you, and you go, yeah, right. You know? Anyway, he did. And then I met him socially, and we became great friends. And then when Thunderbolt came up, there was the part of an island girl. And they said, the producer said, no, 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 we're not having one team, basically. In fact, that would be ridiculous. And Terence says, don't be ridiculous, she's an island girl, you've got to have her. And so he pressed and pushed, and it was Terence that got me in there. Loved him. Oh God, he was so fabulous. He was the most elegant gentleman ever. And mischievous. <laughs> <laughs> Very mischievous. He was Mr. Mystic. He was always sort of like going, giving a brain, you know. <laughs> he was great, it was great. We have time for one more question, and right up here. Is there a part you ever wanted very badly in my Yeah. <laughs> a few of those. Uh, the part that I really wanted was um, the part that I wanted to play Morgana in Excalibur. Oh, I actually was. <sighs> But it was, you know, Helen Mirren, she did a fantastic job. Really fantastic. But I, that's, I really wanted that. And the other one I wanted was um, the Dalmatian thing with Glenn Close. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I thought that was right. <laughs> We have a couple of surprises from our team. First, we have some flowers, of course. And David is here. So here comes David. David has a second surprise for Martine. He's coming up here. David Colton, of course, uh, with the classic horror boards on the internet. Oh, my God. Hi, Martine. Hi, 
Yeah, just mm -hmm. switch on. Hi, uh, I also do the Rondo Awards. Uh, how many folks here voted this year? Uh, that's great. Um, Martine mentions that she likes to work with family, and I think we'd all agree that of her many families, this is one. Yeah. 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 And, um, I'll be a recurring figure tonight, but um, we wanted to present Martine with her induction into the Monster Kid Hall of Fame. <laughs> Martin Bezwick, Monster Bash, 2019. 